Four steps to claim your power back. It combines the power of the mind with the wisdom of your heart and it just helps you to unlock your potential. Hey everyone, welcome to my Shiny Minds show. My name is Shiny Bujunstal. I am the proud creator of NeuroShine technology, also a proud creator of this Shiny Minds show and your NeuroShine coach. Today I would love to talk to you about how you can gain your power back. Why is it important? You know, we are still in this crazy 2020. We started with COVID and then we experienced crazy fires. We experienced earthquakes. We experienced protests like unrest, especially in the United States and in all over the world. So you might have lost your job. You might have lost your business. You might have lost your relationships or the worst case scenario, you might have lost your touch with yourself. And it's important to understand how you can claim and gain that power back so that nothing can stop you. And today I want to focus on some strategies that can help you to claim your power back by starting my argument with the fact that everything that is going on this year in 2020 with the COVID, with earthquakes and fires and protests, they're all external, okay? I am aware we live in this world and external factors are important for our well-being and at the same time, what is even more important is your internal world and your power is absolutely nothing but internal. So I am going to start with my crazy, simple and effective formula for change, which is awareness multiplied by willingness. When you apply this formula to anything that you want to achieve in life, you're going to receive fast and effective results. And that's how we're going to apply this formula to the strategies that I want to share with you today. Let's begin. Number one, awareness. My first strategy for you is to become more aware. Like I mentioned, the formula itself is awareness multiplied by willingness. So you gotta be aware of what's going on inside of you. Remember this, where the mind goes, energy flows. So if your focus is on the external part of your world, yes, of course you're going to look at the COVID, the earthquakes and the fires and the protests and political agenda, right? But is it serving you? Maybe not. So become aware. Where is your focus and where is your energy? Do you catch yourself during the day focusing more on the external world or more on your beautiful internal world? And if it is more on the external, switch it back to where it needs to be and start claiming your power back. Step number two, detachment. What are you going to detach from? Most of the time, what happens is, especially when I talk to my clients, when I coach them, when I train them, when I do my communication and leadership development programs, I realize that most of the time, it's not the emotion that actually gets us and stops us. It is what we do with that emotion. For example, let's assume that you have anxiety. Let's assume that you don't know what future holds for you in this very uncertain world, right? And still so yet, the anxiety is not the problem. The problem is you start judging yourself and criticizing yourself for feeling anxiety. Do you get me? So that's exactly what you need to detach from. You need to detach from that little voice inside of you that keeps criticizing you, that keeps judging you, that keeps punishing you for the emotions that you feel. That is step number two. Make sure you detach from anything negative and allow yourself to feel those human emotions. Step number three, appreciation. Appreciating is so deep and so internal that it really shuts down all the external focus 
and it really brings you back to your core. And your core is your emotional home. Where do you live emotionally? Do you live in fear or do you live in fate? And if you catch yourself living in the home of fear, is that serving you? I don't think so. That's why you may not feel powerful and you need to switch it back to faith. And faith is internal and that's why you need to appreciate everything around you, everything that you have, not material. Well, I mean, materials are not bad, okay? I I'm with you. I love my material possessions as well. And still, yeah, they're just not enough. They are a good extension of what you can enjoy in this game of life. What you really need to appreciate though, what you have inside. You have beautiful qualities and you have ethics, you have skills, you have values, you have beliefs, and you have your personality. Start appreciating who you are. Start appreciating what you have. Start appreciating the life that you were given. It's a gift. That's how you can shift your focus and your internal reality from fear to faith. And last but not least, step number four, attachment. Well, we talked about detachment. This time we're going to talk about attachment, right? In step number two, I talked about detaching from your negative emotions and actually not your negative emotions, but the way you look at your negative emotions and the way you criticize yourself. So right now we're going to have you attach your future goals and dreams. Attachment is so powerful and so effective when it derives you, when it grows you, when it gets you from your core and maximizes your human potential. Do you feel the fire? So that's exactly how you need to feel attached and that's how you are going to complete all these four steps to claim your power back. So I hope this video helped you I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel so that you can enjoy more videos and more content just like this. And remember, you and I and everybody you share this video with, we can create a better world together with more love and shiny minds.